हेलो गाइस दिस इज हिना फ्रॉम हिना लाइफस्टाइल आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल माय टुडेस चैनल आई होप एवरीवन इज डूइंग ग्रेट एंड इट्स इन गुड हेल्थ स्पेशली इन टुडेस टाइम व्हेन देयर इज कोविड एवरीवेयर सो जस्ट बी सेफ वेयर योर मास्क हैव अ सोशल डिस्टेंस एंड फॉलो योर कंट्रीज रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन फॉर द protection of yourself and your loved ones so let's go into the video which is about the lipstick collection which i have before i proceed i would like to have a quick disclaimer that all the videos which are on my channel and all the products which i show in my channel are purchased by me and they are not sent to me whatsoever and all these things which i say in my channel about a product is my personal opinions my personal experience and i understand that my experience could vary from your experience and there are something which i like or is working well for me might not work for you and vice versa it's uh, all about our diet our external factors um uh, and the ingredients of the products if something is allergic to me might not be for you and this you know the skin condition we have and how we are applying at what time in what way all those things matter so uh there is never a shade on any brand i like all the brands and i understand completely that if something from one brand is not working for me doesn't mean the whole brand is bad and uh, you know you always find something good and then something not working for you and it's just a you know a journey of finding best of the best in makeup skin care hair care body care uh products so let's go in the videos i will uh tell you about the number of the lipstick the brand I will give a quick um, swatch on my arm to show you the color and the consistency at the same time the effect uh, or the type of a lipstick that is and these are some of my very very favorite lipsticks uh, yes and also I would like to say this in the beginning of the video that please don't uh, forget to hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and ring the bell so that you can be notified for my upcoming video uh, that's really important and it will also show me that you encourage me and i will be happy to make more and more videos also if you want me to make a video about certain brand or product or about certain uh, also you know that i am also sharing food recipes you want me to uh, prepare some particular food or anything you can always mention that in the comment box and i will be more than happy to fulfill your request and it's all of course will be honor for me and definitely since i'm purchasing product myself uh if you know the price of the product um and the requirement will be there definitely i will buy it and give it a priority in, in my next purchasing uh, uh session and that's how i do actually uh you know that it's been a while uh i have lots of foundation so i'm not purchasing any new foundation and hence i'm not giving you any more review about uh foundations because i'm trying to finish those foundation and the same way the face powder goes and the blush which i recently purchased from tarte and make a revolution so it always depends because if you if the if it's a pr channel if there it's a channel on which companies are sending the products you know then it won't be any problem i will be always having new products uh as soon as they get launched and i will also have like a wide range of products all the time for skincare or makeup and all that because they are being sent to you you are not spending your fortune on them so when you are spending your fortune this is what like if you want to know that some channel is really telling the truth that okay it's not a pr channel and we are blah 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 you just have to see how frequently they are coming up with the products and how many yeah there are some influencer on the social media channel which are just so famous that big company just like to send them and still be at their honest reviews if they are really not biased no shades but of course if you have purchased yourself uh then of course you won't be that frequent in showing the new product and also uh you will be more honest and blunt of course if somebody has sent me something i cannot 
you know i will still think twice and of course this um, is an online platform where people have different different opinions and it's not um, you know the place that's the, there are people who can catch any word of you please excuse me since i'm talking for a long time i just thought to have a sip of tea <laughs> yeah so let's go mm, one by one and all the lipstick and i also put here the lip liners usually i'm not applying lip liner because my lips are quite defined i don't have to over define my lips and or under define my lips my shape is quite alhamdulillah clear but there are still these lip liners which i wanted to mention which i purchase and which even if you are putting alone you don't need a lipstick but if you are putting under the lipstick it they holds very well and even if the lipstick has fade faded away if they will be still there so i really wanted to mention them so i think it's best that i start with the lip liner and just have a another sip of tea okay so let's start here this is from maybelline uh new york color sensational and the number number i have to see unfortunately it's yeah it's 90 black uh 90 back red so this is the name and before of course if you can remember that i in uh, told you how to check the life of a product it will be here so this liner is valid for 24 months so it's made in germany it's a color sensational uh line of products and i will just show you how it is it's retractable and you will see that all three lip liners which i have are retractable i hope i'm pronouncing it right because i don't like to sharpen the lip liner because every time i'm trying to sharpen them uh, they get stuck in the sharpener and it's it keeps on breaking up breaking up breaking up so i try to get a retractable one so i will just show you a swatch here oh i just did too much pressure excuse me it's we are it's like very soft and smooth and buttery that's why it just broke so easily and just have like it's just so amazing it's really nice it's very very long lasting and it also have this small cutie sharpener and not many people know that these lip liners which are retractable you can just simply brush them uh, have a sharp edge with this sharpener which is at the back of the of the pencil so i just should throw this one sorry just put it back and that's it now it's defined so this is how it is i hope you learned one more thing which you might didn't know about the uh, these retractable lip liners so this is one which is 90 back from maybelline and then it's another one which is from sephora now i would like to in that so now let's go to the lipstick section and i'm just missing one of the lipsticks uh, which was really really important for me because i really uh like that lipstick but i think it's just somewhere in my bag so i'm just thinking to start from that very brand and that is <clears throat> clarence uh clarence is a very french brand i would say I think it's French, yes. <laughs> and they're, they're, they have really interesting products and they are not always coming like, okay, one product and then the other and the other and the other and the other, but the products which they have, they are like very, very nice and they also have like a lot of uh, skincare kind of a product. So this is the lips, uh, 
lip comfort oil intense which i was using uh there is this one and then there was bright pink uh, one and i'm gonna definitely uh try more clarence products and actually have used a lot of clarence products in the past i have used their foundation i have used their face powder of course i had this small uh, uh complete kit in which there were eyeshadows and blush and face powder uh, eye mascara eyeliner those sort of fitting uh, which i was been gifted and from then i started like uh, having interest in the brand and uh, they have this one foundation which was uh, skin illusionist now they have changed the bottle is uh, coming in it it was coming with the droplet which i didn't like to be honest but before that it was coming with the pump and that time i was really in love with it i really like the fragrance they are using though um it's always nice to have fragrance free paraben um, free and all these uh, additional things which we can avoid in makeups but i don't know there is something about the fragrance in clarence which is really soothing and comforting and very luxe you know so this is also very very now these um uh, have six months of life and let me just show you so they are like oil and then having a so it's a buildable one but of course the more you build um it's more glossy so how i used to use especially during the mask time is and i still do the same that if i am uh, not gonna wear the mask i just use it like this but if i'm gonna use the mask i just tap 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 <laughs> I remove and then i just let the stain stay and for the other color which are more stronger in nature uh they stay very well and the the life and the stain it's just stay there forever like forever so that's what i really liked about it they are quite long lasting and the red one which i had not the red it was pinkish one uh it was really really uh nice as well so this is one of my favorite i'm gonna buy definitely more colors for them from this and also like i will try their uh comfort oil which are having just like a hint of a color not like exactly the colors they have like bluish oranges and other kind of a color so i'm i'm gonna also try their like skincare soon so i hope so once i try definitely i will let you know and with the skincare uh, particularly when i'm trying i give it a time I give them a little bit of time and I see that if it's working good on my skin or not. I don't immediately use it for one, two times and I will say, okay, this skincare is like that. For me, when I give a review about this and skincare products, I use them for a month or so. Yes, there are sometimes some products which you apply like a face mask or a scrub that as soon as you use them, you come out and your face is like purely buff and smooth and refined and defined. So in those you can give a review after one or two use if there is no reaction there is nothing but if it's like a face cleanser and face creams and everything so of course i give it a bit more time before just coming up uh straight giving the reviews and soon i will be giving the review of the uh skincare which i'm using this this time which i uh, discovered the brand which is a muslim brand and uh it's uh alcohol free and no animal fats and all those i will soon share so that anyways let's go back to the current video so this is what i'm using for clarence i already showed you see it's not really moving it will stay there so this is why i really liked it that if you just remove the uh, glossy part of it with the tissue it just stay there as it is so really really a fan of it really really a fan uh let's i think let's go anti-clockwise because i just started that way now i come to this lipstick which is plum gel lipstick power is plumbing gel uh lipstick 040 and it's from catrice i think yeah from catrice i have used their um i want to focus it more actually uh-huh I don't know if it's uh, focusing that great or not but anyways so 
for the um, kit trees I have used uh, their uh, mascara their eyeliner it's really really amazing I don't know if I have it here if I can just show you quickly I think yeah if you are lucky then I might have it no I don't have it otherwise I would have shared they have really amazing um, um, eyeliner the one kahal which you put inside the eyes anyway so this lipsticks which is a uh, plumbing gel lipstick it's kind of a nude shade which is like having like a pink shade so this is how it is but i would say buttery smooth <laughs> the feel of it is amazing like it's just that lipstick that you just want it in your life it's very neutral very smooth very gel the gloss of it is not uncomfortable you know there are glossy lipsticks whose gloss is really really uncomfortable so these are not that lipstick you know it's not uncomfortable that would i say so it's really 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 good when it comes to that definitely it if you will remove it it will get removed easily you have to reapply it's not like a long lasting one like but the stain of clarins will stay there but this one just go uh it's just like a regular lipstick which is having a plumbing effect and i use it sometime as a lip balm on my uh lips so i really like the shade it's very nice natural not overwhelming so i like those kind of lipsticks as well i now i will move to the lipstick which is just beside it and you might think okay this lady is just having like sort of a similar shades um <laughs> yes uh, sometimes the shades look similar or same but when you come from one brand to another or one, the effect and the feel on lips is totally different so you know it they seems quite same but they don't feel same on your lips or they don't translate same on your lips like when I'm doing swatches on my arms I shouldn't have removed actually I'll just keep them so I'll just keep this one here just for future reference and I will just keep this one here just so you can have a reference so but they are actually uh different okay okay now let's go to maybelline so from maybelline i have currently like i think around three lipsticks i might have more but anyways we will go through them so this is a, a 540 hollywood red and i'm maintaining this shade for a very very long time uh i just need that in my collection every time it is finished i repurchase it and i would be really heartbroken if they will discontinue this shade uh it's from color sensational as well it's like the same uh line which this uh lip liner is so i will just show you yeah now you will think like okay this is the same color as or the one which i showed for catrice but if i will apply it yeah, it's just my veins. It's little darker and it's more having like the pigment. This one is just like very gelish, pinkish uh, kind of a thing. But this one is having like a strong pigment in it. So it's it's a different. It's not the same. But definitely the family of color is same, which is baby pink. Uh, kind of a... Uh, and they, it will also remove if I use the tissue, it will just come off. So you have to reapply, reapply. But when they are lips on lips, the good part of these lipsticks is that it will not move, you know, from lips immediately. Uh, of course, if you are wearing a mask, I prefer just tap it and then wear a mask. It will transfer, but not that horribly like a lip gloss or something. So it's really interesting. And these have this uh, red sorry of a bottom now i will move to the other lipstick also from maybelline and the color is brick beat okay it's a cream lipstick and now oh yeah it's cream and there is this is color issue so this one is having this cinnamon sort of a 
outer uh, box and let's show you the color it's also like the same like the boss very uh cinnamon type of so i will just place it here yeah you can see the richness and the smoothness what i really liked about maybelline is uh these lipsticks are very creamy and very very um butter type and they feel really relaxing and easy on lips and the fragrance is also very um you know muted and very refined and it feels really comfortable to apply on the lips definitely these all lipstick if i use a tissue will move and if i am wearing a mask they will transfer so of course this is an important thing to know uh especially like these days we are very much that which lipstick transfer or not before we purchase especially now uh it's important to know the texture of the lipstick more than ever because we are not mostly allowed to check the makeup test the makeup because of the covid uh restrictions so you have to just guess most of the time the texture and make a purchasing decision or sometimes it's mentioned so you have to just assume like what kind of a texture it will have now i will go to this uh this uh, lipstick from also maybelline which is having this blue out blue or purplish uh outer packing and it's 315 rich plum it's also from colors uh, sensational uh now i'm just a little confused at why uh, this color of the box is different than this color sensational you know yeah it's very strange um and it's the same number mentioned here but the outer package is different that's quite interesting to me because i have never noticed that before so there is like it seems there is a little difference but i will show you the swatch just beside so it's like this yes so it's not same sometimes you know when we are checking like and then we're like okay this is the same this is the same all these no these are not same these three lipsticks all of them have really different color these are same family this is a different family but if you will see or notice the color all of them have different color but it's also these three are in the berry family really interesting very nice love them so much let's keep them back now let's go to the mika Jai family which i purchased recently and i have a dedicated video for that uh it's not really the lipsticks um because i have a dedicated video on on mika Jai, this particular lip uh collection which was which i purchased as a gift uh it was not a gift but it's i think a gift collection but it's having a very very big uh, lips and they were inside it i think the packaging was so cute and the color which are from the outside uh, are all the color like the cinnamon and brownish and new that i just happened to be in love with them so let's go in and decode uh what is it I hope so my camera remained well during the shoot okay let's go so now this lipstick yeah so i'm i was trying to have similar uh actually in this one the color is actually not written um anywhere it's 18 months so i can just show you a swatch very nice right the color is not mentioned i really uh if the mika Jai team is just watching my video i really request them that please mention color code number name anything on your lipsticks all of them even if they are coming as a pack even on the shades because it's really easy when you are having a makeup tutorial or if we are suggesting or promoting the particular thing uh for the purchaser to buy the exact item so there is not written what shade is it but 
it is, this is how it is now i will have i will just excuse me the camera just fall off so i will not uh, uh go more in mkj one because i had like a dedicated uh uh <laughs> please excuse me for my camera so yeah i will not go in uh, detail about the mkj one the reason is very simple i have a dedicated video for mkj but i will definitely still have a swatch and talk about this for lipstick this is the one And then now, if you see all these swatches in my hand from the Mickey J uh, lipsticks, you will think, "Oh wow!" and all that. But these are the only lipsticks which I really regret that I purchased and the reason is that the more beautiful they are looking on the camera or in the arm they don't translate that well on the lips and the reason is only that they have like okay you can see this these, these are also gelish top sort of a uh, lipstick and these also looks quite similar a creamish lipstick but these translate as it is on your lips you know but these from mickey j they don't translate on your lips as they are translating on the arm they have this weird wax that don't translate how they should uh translate on your lips so that's why i just didn't enjoy uh them and i just felt that you know but the, uh, the other good part is that you can still play and do a lot from it like what i am doing basically from this mickey j lipstick i'm using them on the eyes as a base or on my cheeks as a base shadow uh or for a contouring little bit of contouring okay so in that way i can still manipulate and sometime if on the top of a lipstick as a topper because in that way the color is coming out much more nicely so i'm still trying to utilize them because they are not bad and also my lip color is quite darker on the darker side so of course it is maybe not translating how it might translate on the lips which are fair in tone or more pale or more on a pinky side or bon like what nude side you know uh but on my lips it's not maybe translating as such because in the arms they are really really translating very nice okay all right let's have like a small again tea sip because i'm quite talking for a long time i wanted to make this video very very long time because i wanted to share the lipstick which i'm using as of now because sometimes uh i think for the fans or the uh, subscriber they want to know more uh what we actually use or not and what things we like to keep with us So let's go to the bottom section okay so i'm just trying to fix my camera well that is coming correctly okay this lipstick is from basam fatu he he or she i'm not sure is an arabic um makeup artist and this brand is from that person it's made uh, made trick sinner the color name is sinner i purchased it online uh, from namchi website of course namchi has not given me any money for any promotion uh, but i have purchased from the platform of namchi so yeah so namchi has given like on the namchi i saw this uh lipsticks and actually they only had the lipstick but i wanna also wanna i'm really interested because i have seen a lot of makeup tutorials from uh in which the basam photo products are being used and it seems that they're very famous in arabs and they have like 
very good uh, quality and outcome or the application because every time I see people are just you know using the the uh, on on the models and the the makeup looks stunning so I really want to have and this lipstick itself is very nice it has engraving as well Patam Basam Fatu so I'll just have a quick swatch here you know this lipstick particularly reminds me of this is this one I don't know if I captured on camera or not I see okay so this lipstick uh, reminds me of Midora from Pakistan I had like a lot of Midora lipsticks uh, as well which I used and finished because I really really like them and I felt like it's having like a similar texture like the one Midora and quite like the fragrance it's not have as rich fragrance as um, Midora had but it have like a fragrance which I reminds me of the texture and the not the texture basically the mate and soft mate kind of a finish reminds me of really the texture of Midora lipsticks um, if I will travel to Pakistan I will try to have Midora lipsticks more and give a review because I think we should promote makeup in uniform way every country's makeup and those brands which are not that famous but are really widely being used maybe not having a dedicated channel and the same way soon I will also have like a Kashi makeup from Pakistan and I will have a video on that because they are very very famous in Pakistan their uh, hair uh, hair extensions and their makeup and all that uh, but in an international platform of course they are not that famous but I would try to mention them on my channel and I will try to get my hands on those products which looks very amazing in the videos and definitely I want to promote a uh, makeup artist and makeup brand from my own home country as well uh, which I will inshallah do so for anyways for this one I have only lipstick as of now I have tried and I am really in love with the lipstick I've been I'm inshallah gonna make sure that I have uh, more products from this particular brand and if you uh, have any recommendation or you want me to try some particular product from this brand you can just mention in the comments what you want me to try uh, I would love to do that and it's more easier you know when you are being guided in a way that okay these the viewers wants to see this or the viewers wants to know your comments on so and so thing or the viewers want to want you to try something so as a uh, content creator it's more easier for me because of course there's the 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 range of products and the products in the market are just way so much and when you are purchasing products like a person like me you see all these uh, you know factors in which I personally just try to look clean beauty, clean skincare ingredients in the also in the makeup which is you know having this uh, latest thing which is not having harsh chemicals and then there is so many options out there whether they are medicated brands having makeup of themselves like Vichy uh, is having makeup of themselves, Biodrama is also having some products. Uh, not lipsticks and stuff but at least the base and everything and then there are uh, those medicated skincare brands and then there are this uh, really the commercial skincare uh, brands like Huda Beauty Dior, Max Factor and then Max Factor Maybelline and all those uh, so it's just the choice is really too much and then there are these uh, small businesses uh, people who are coming up with the very very nice products with BH Cosmetics or other small uh, groups of uh, like loves beauty in these days has come out as a good uh, skincare brand so they, the choice is just too much and you cannot just try all in this small life you can only try some some things so if it's if it's it's been advised to you that okay you know uh, we would like to you to try this or that or we would like to know about this or that so it becomes very very easy so with that said let's move to my oh my god it's the most favorite one 
and I will give a place to this lipstick on not this hand which is having already so many swatches but on this it's from Dior and you can see my excitement it's 578 and the name is Tuller Shine I had uh, tried the other uh, there was another pinkish shade which I tried before from this particular range as well and now I went again to get that color but then I just thought just try a little different it's almost similar but it's more um, that was was even more uh, less pinkish and this is little more pinkish but this comes like this and yeah in that one uh, there was small uh, some glittery thing which was in the pink uh, shine and in this one it's not that but it's still having some in interesting sheen that it looks like it's having some you know something inside it translates beautifully on the lips like of course you cannot beat the quality of dior and you know in the backstage like all the makeup artists use dior makeups and their dior uh, foundation backstage foundation so there is no competition competition with the dior itself definitely the prices of these is also the same high end uh, but it's a luxury uh, lipstick to have your hands on if you are wanting to have some luxury lipsticks it's really nice you can just see like this lipsticks and this like okay i would say like um clarence having that short of a shine but you can see these lipsticks there is no competition dior is just those lipsticks are also my favorite but dior and this particular dior one it's exceptional it feels so interesting on the lips that i don't know how to explain sometimes i just feel i'm short of vocabulary to explain something but if you want to have one lipstick which you would like to have is this one you can apply on your uh, cheeks and it will give you a shine and pinkish and on your lips it's just amazing really amazing let's go to the lipstick which is kiko i think you understand that okay it's one of the similar colors which i have the name is smart and uh, color is 404 i'll just check it on here where i have like similar lipsticks yeah see now it's like a dupe I feel for the Clarins uh, lip oil one but definitely the lip oil is having an oil uh, oils that will nourish your lips but it's not I think having those things but it is quite similar the color and uh, you can definitely see the color is quite quite similar uh, and also equally comfortable of course I'm not saying it will beat Clarins because Clarins is having like ingredients which are good for your lips and it's quite long lasting even if you just remove it, the tissue tap it it will stay there the stain will stay there but for this one it will immediately wipe off with the uh, tissue paper so but the color wise is sort of a dupe and it's nice you know if you're on a budget it's good this particular i have tried other lipstick from kiko which i didn't like uh it was having like a silver bullet but this one is really nice i was really reluctant because i tried a couple of kiko products because when you see the kiko uh shop from outside is the setup and everything is in this in a way that you just want to purchase everything and i no doubt there are couple of products which i purchased from kiko were amazing but then there are products which did not at all work and they were really really huge disappointment after you know you have tried something and it works amazingly i had like a eyeshadow palette uh blush on and foundation sort of a thing and they were really really nice and also their brushes their um mascara something like that but then i purchased some uh, concealer and lipsticks and um, something like that and they were really really 
awful and i was like oh i'm not gonna go and waste my money again and but of course i will I, and i have also an intention to try their skin brand but i used uh, yeah i used their one face mask which was really nice it was from multivitamins or something for brightening i really like that so i have quite an interest in their skincare but of course there's still a lot of brands in the pipeline for me uh, when it comes to skincare because although i'm ro really um want to have like uh, so much makeup and i love doing makeup and i love seeing application of makeup uh, i also pay equal attention to the skincare and i feel like i i want to have the best skin i could possibly have and i invest i i think if you are investing definitely i wanna say that if it's about makeup skincare definitely skincare ones and if the skin is beautiful the skin is having right radiance and complexion and the texture the makeup will look more beautiful on your face makeup cannot look good on your face if your skin you're not taking care of your skin so it's really important to understand that makeup is only for enhancing the features enhancing the appearance uh but the real energy you bring and the skin you have uh, the features you have you have to take care of them uh you have to take care of your skin uh then only makeup will work for you and also you have to be just good from inside out so you know the energy even the energy uh, is more contentious when come to i don't know how to explain i hope you got my point now let's come to this i'm just quite uh, surprised that i don't have much from l'oreal i think this is also from l'oreal no quite interesting just i have just one lipstick from l'oreal which is this one but it's killer long lasting <laughs> that's what i would say the applicator is really unique it's with the tip and if you just use a little it's really just easily to take off the excess and then you can really define your lips easily even if you have uneven lips you can really define the applicator i'm a huge fan i think other uh uh, people who are having similar lipsticks should have this kind of a tip applicator and it's a very very long lasting lipstick it's a matte lipstick it dries out it don't feel heavy it don't make your lips being very dried and patchy very beautiful and the color is very bright i will just have a swatch here oh yeah i just although see i just removed quite a lot lipstick but when you take it out in one swatch it have this much of product and then and to be honest this one uh, swatch of it you can just use it on all, all your lip so it will keep on applying it will not finish and in fact even on the back it has it so it's really amazing very long lasting it quickly uh, it dries out and it's really really nice one of the best lipsticks and in fact uh i just have like the colors i need currently for me and i have just a lot of lipsticks and i also i'm one of those people whose lipstick do get finished there are people who are like whose lipstick could ever be finished no my lipstick do get finished so i'm trying to finish some of the shades so i can just get more from this collection it's exceptional uh, sort of a lipstick the it's very lightweight that interesting uh, other interesting part is very lightweight comfortable a transfer proof inside mask excellent choice the color is really rich definitely i want to try more color from the same uh, outline but i'm just like if you want to purchase something from this uh, particular line go ahead it's a complete green from me excellent work excellent work yeah now make it why i'm just keeping this one make it down i should put it up i will put it up so i have spoken about this lipstick previously as well and from make it uh, it's like love hate relationship as well because their fragrances work for me definitely they are uh, uh lipsticks uh, and makeup most of the makeup really works with me but then there are those lipsticks which just little bit disappointed me but sometimes they are um it's like you know uh, when you get a pile of fruits all together one or two pieces bad something like that but majority in makeup is nice so it's um, get detached 
so in one side there is a lipstick and on one side there is a gel and the color 307 is this color i think arabs really like this color so i will just move my hand is this very very made and it's also not that easy to transfer it's really nice lipstick a really really nice lipstick and if you want to have a gloss i really like this fact that they just made it like detachable one if you just want one thing uh, with you or you can just have both together or whatever and even the gloss of it i will just show you the gloss i will just show you the gloss separate and then together see it's very creamy and then you're applying on top of it you can see very nice but the only thing about this particular gloss is like you do feel you do feel that the gloss is there that's the only thing but not so terrible their lips will not be sticking together or anything like that but it's not as comfy a uh, gloss as for the dior lipstick or uh, clarins one but it's it's just like did you know that you are wearing a gloss something like that but it's still uh, if you want to buy these lipsticks in any color or this particular color definitely it's a yes it is one of the must to have uh lipsticks and i'm gonna maintain this and in fact i went to get more colors in this and <laughs> When I saw those lipsticks, I just purchased those lipsticks instead of these and I just thought it will be a good idea to try those colors and I just wanted those kind of colors and then this one lipstick was almost equal price of that whole kit. I think that was where I just got confused and I was like, okay, instead of one lipstick, I will have like four shades and I'm not that glossy, glossy person, so I don't need that much of a gloss, but I know need those colors and I just made that decision but at least it's good that i was able to make a video and advise other people so it's fine one or the other way i'm able to do something next is this from max factor this is a very nice bright pomegranate color it's quite like you know bright pomegranate pinkish color i like the golden packaging let's appreciate and you can see how much i have already used it I should not take it out that much it will it might break it so here you go I don't know yeah it's I don't have to even do a second swatch it's just so beautiful it explains itself the number is 665 really nice lipstick and I have used other color in the similar golden uh, one and like the red and the other one and they are really really nice and you can see the finish one of the best finish it's really really nice finish and i really like that let's move forward to my last white lipsticks <laughs> all right i think i'll just move it here because i'm checking the pinkish color so the reddish color will fall together so this lipstick is from body shop and the color is I think this Goa Mongolia. I hope so. This is the color. Let's try with all the pink colors. Yeah, this is how it is. Only one swatch is enough for the whole lips. Front and back. So for this lipstick, it's kind of... This is also made, but uh, this is also made. But when it dries out, it's um, very lightweight as well. But this is also made. Uh, this is a soft made, and these lipsticks, these two lipsticks will not transfer. These two lipsticks will not transfer at all. Uh, they will dry up, okay, on your lips after some time, and. For this one also they are like five shades only or six shades only and i had like other shades for um, other brands and that's why i didn't purchase but uh definitely i wanted to get all of them i really i have not tried much makeup from body shop but after trying this particular lipstick i was like i want to get all the makeup from body shop and in fact i purchased the whole skincare and hair care from body shop only after purchasing this particular 
uh, lipstick so it's really amazing really nice if you happen to see these lipsticks you can just go ahead and purchase them uh, especially for the mask days you better have some made lipstick which are comfortable and this is one of that let's move to another max factor all right so i just covered the max factor here that's why i was keeping this lipstick here okay anyways so this is max factor color Exiler soft meat and made in england just uh, you can see i don't have to say much it dries out matte uh i will just have a swatch for this one and then i will also have a swatch of kylie cosmetic this was a gift just beside okay now i will explain why i did swatch together side by side so this is from kylie it is having little pinky shade and um and this is the red exilier from max factor why I swatch them uh why I swatch them side by side because the fragrance of these two is quite identical and the finish of them quite identical the dryness quite identical i just felt i have just purchased two lipsticks same two lipsticks on the on the lips they feel quite the same so in this world in this part of the world it's difficult to get your hand on kylie cosmetics and so if you want to experience kylie cosmetic you can purchase max factor color exilier quite similar at least what i felt is quite similar definitely the ingredient would be different the color shade is quite lit is lit not i would say quite quite it's just little different it's more in fact you can see that the max factor is more rich you can see one swatch very clearly it's more rich and the kylie one you have to build up a little bit so i would say it's even better but of course no shares to kylie i love kylie uh, cosmetics and i am a huge fan of um, of the brand as well uh, but i'm just saying what it is on a physical grounds so you can just simply purchase this and really the fragrance is almost the same the, uh, but i would say in all these mate mate lipsticks okay these two i prefer more because of the feel this move and the other part other thing is that these two will not move around your face uh, and you know you will not when you remove the mask it's not all over and these are made but i don't know why these two when you remove your mask it will be just spill around your face that's why uh they are nice they are made and they don't move and the color is really nice but with the mask despite being ma uh, matte they are still 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 transferring uh on your face and i just never understood this point uh like how and why uh other than that of course it's a very very nice lipstick they're gonna dry and i'm gonna rub after the uh, at the end of this video my arm to show how these merge uh so you have an idea about the texture and also i'm giving it a chance for all the lipstick to dry down so at least it's not like uh, they were not given enough time to be dried out so instead of kylie maybe you can just get this collection from this but these two from max factor better now my last two lipsticks which are here and which are more let's take the red one first so this is from glam makeup now glam makeup i found it in Vincina pharmacy and i just don't understand why the brand was just vanished and it it was i don't know what not selling or what I was very very surprised because uh, when I when I came I entered to the phase of nude lipsticks and I used to see people having nude lipstick and they look so gorgeous I was not just having like a right nude and I tried from almost all the brands not like the luxury one at that time but from the like Max Factor, Burgess, NYX you name it all what you can find in a lifestyle 
and I just could not find something right for my face. Then I just happened to walk in the Bincina for some skincare and there was this lady there like this is our new brand, try the lipsticks and I saw about the new lipstick and there was some promotion buy to get one or buy to get two something like that. That time I got two new lipsticks and two dry and pink from this collection and since then i fell in love and i uh, i purchased the same lipstick over and over and over again and the last one i purchased this red one and i don't know then i was not able to see the brand anymore uh maybe it's out of market i just don't understand why maybe they were not having enough marketing team to market about their product but i would really see if you have this brand in your country don't forget to get your hands on this perfect line so this is perfect line made finish lipstick waterproof and long lasting this number is 968 and i guarantee you this is as it is what they are saying i will just swatch uh, near this one and the fragrance is also nice now why I swatch here with this one uh, with the one where i had the body shop lipstick because the feeling of the texture is quite similar uh, it's similar soft made and it's not 100% made 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 and dried out made it's soft made and it's quite similar in a texture and next now come to the last uh, product of my video which is from the well-known brand of makeup forever professional professional <laughs> and the lipstick is rouge artist 412 and crafted wine i think that is the name these are the new lipstick i think they came last year or a year before not that old when it comes to this um col this you know the packaging which is like a long one and i used to think like they are true lipstick for some reason i thought it's a lip lip liner and a lipstick but it was just a lipstick which is just a small one but the packaging point of view is like a pen you are just writing something so it's this yeah i have used it quite a lot as well and then let's have a swatch here do i have to say anything i don't think so now this one i can compare with uh, maybe person for douche okay uh but i don't think so i really have to say some mate soft mate lipstick same like uh, body shop or glam makeup one but the richness is more strong there of course it's from makeup of forever you will always notice that regardless whatever they say high-end brands and medium range brands definitely the high-end brands the quality is still like if you are like i'm not saying that the middle range or low end will not have like a good product but there is something about the finish like you can see this finish with those old lipstick although these these are my favorite lipsticks but you you can see the richness over here and then in these lipsticks the richness you know you will i think by seeing the swatches maybe also you can see which one is high end and which is low end and all these kind of things and the reason is about the richness so these are all the lipsticks i have tried for you on both the arms may max uh make of forever it's uh these four are from make aj this is kiku no, this is Kiko and this is, uh, yeah, it's make of uh, uh, Maybelline. This is Clarence, Maybelline, Maybelline. Uh, this is uh, Catrice, Maybelline, Maybelline, Basam Fatouche, one of them. And so, yeah, I will just forget all the names. I will just show you randomly. Now is the time where I will just clear them with the tissue paper and we will see what's coming off and what is not. What is quite surprisingly is that you can notice that uh, even though I was saying like the Kylie cosmetic one is not that rich than the uh, Max Factor one but you can see it's, stay, it's staying there more 
and I just moved the tissue paper and the tissue paper is not having anything but of course you just have to rub so you can see so the highly one is definitely staying more the uh, Clarence stain more now just do for the other arm definitely when we remove the makeup we use some makeup remover or oil or something but here I just want to show what will stay what will not and I'm just so what is really staying this one uh, not the, yeah this one from L'Oreal this and then this mate this Kylie and this these lipsticks will really stay you can see all right so that's it guys this was my today's video and i hope you like the video and it will give you some idea in how i'm purchasing the lipsticks and what lipsticks i'm currently having with me in this talk and if you have the same lipsticks you can just ping me down and if you have some other nice suggestions you can just uh, also mention me that okay try this or that i would love to do that one out but currently these are the lipstick which i'm just using on day-to-day -day, uh, basis i hope you like the video and uh, you will understand more about the texture and the uh, type of lipstick they are and it will help you in purchasing the lipstick if you are looking for similar shades or on the same type of uh, range from these brands so that's it guys for today's video if you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to ring the bell and see you in my next video live life to the fullest